Hey guys, what's up? It's 8-Bit Eric and the Switch eShop gets so many mobile games and so much trash comes out of those mobile games. Trust me, I read it in the comment section. Lots of you guys are like, oh my god, I could play this trash on mobile for free. Well, you know, I play all of these games because once in a while, there's a hidden gem that just comes out of nowhere. And today's video is just about that. We are going to check out a game called Venture Kid, which looks like a retro style platforming game that's a blast from the past. And hmm, I knew I had to sink my teeth into it the second I saw what it looked like. So we're going to find out, is it good enough to sink your teeth into or... Do we have to pass on this one as well? So guys, sit back, relax. If you're brand new to the channel, feel free to throw a subscription and let's go ahead and begin today's video, shall we? So Venture Kid, it's no freaking obvious reason that uh, it is a Mega Man clone. It pays homage to one of the most most spectacular NES games and most wonderful video game franchises of all time. So many games have been a clone of Mega Man. Most recently we had Metagal and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and try to check out Venture Kid just because it looks like it could potentially be another great Mega Man clone. So with that said, I was like, oh man, it's a mobile game. I saw that it was a mobile port and lots of times that means it is something that is just shit when it comes to the Nintendo Switch, but I gave it a shot because the price is $4.99. You cannot beat that. $4.99 for a Switch game, uh, you know, in the eShop is a price that I'm willing to take a chance on and risk because sometimes you find something that is amazing. And you know, I gotta say, Venture Kid plays like a bare bones minimum, basic Mega Man game. And that's not a bad thing. You know, the control scheme, plays just like Mega Man you control Venture Kid left or right and you jump and you have an attack button and it, you know even the animation and the sprite looks like something straight out of Mega Man it, it's almost a little too much of a copy clone but you know again I was very really impressed with his presentation it has big colorful 8-bit looking sprites everything looks really colorful and solid I like the way that it just looks I don't know something really screams to me you know when I see something that really captures that authentic look and i know there's a lot of retro style games out there that are, are you know retro neo that have that 8-bit and 16-bit look to them you know even with like games that have more of a of a hd modern look you know like shovel knight and you know retro city rampage and games like that this game cuts out all that fluff it really is basic in its design you know the stages and everything they they're stretched out and i think that's mostly because of the, this being a mobile game however i do like how colorful it looks again like i said i like the presentation the music everything very solid and the controls not bad either if you were able to play mega man you, you can play venture kid and it's almost to the t perfect you know the stages are a variety of different localities you know you got like the forest you got a city you got a volcano you got a jungle you have an ice stage all sorts of you know basic environments and and at the end of the level you encounter a boss and the boss fights not too tough As a matter of fact i would say this game is actually pretty easy you can speed through it i've started to get near the end of the game within a half hour so it does seem rather short there are achievements though based on certain things that you accomplish there are achievements so i guess there's a little bit of replayability there if you're a completionist and you want to try to unlock some of the achievements that the game does have now when just like mega man when you defeat the enemies you gain their powers you get different types of attacks that you're able to use to i guess uh figure out you know defeat the enemies quickly and you are able to backtrack and play previously beaten levels because there are some secrets in these games there's secret branch and paths that give you like secret items and stuff so there are some secrets and replayability incentives in this game so it was actually a little bit bigger than i anticipated and that's not what she said so for 4.99 the price was 4.99 for a switch game that is actually really good a price that I was willing to sit down and take a risk for a game that actually just judging by its cover and judging by its initial look I was like you know what I, I gotta risk risk that you know it looks like a really good Mega Man clone the price is great and you know I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys exactly 
what the game looks like with some uh, gameplay footage. So let's go ahead and test it out. All right, boys and gals, so this is Venture Kid. As I mentioned, it's very, very NES-like. It's a, such a nostalgic trip. Let's go ahead and do classic mode. I do have a game going on. I've, I, I've, I've played all the way to almost the last two stages. But as you can see, it has a very Mega man -ish vibe. I mean, obviously, look at this little cute little fucker that we get to play as. You have a basic weapon, then you have different power-ups that you get from beating the bosses that are used to, uh, to give you an advantage. So if you, if, you're, if you like playing stuff like Mega Man and old school games like that, you'll definitely like Venture Kid. Um, obviously, the graphics are inspired by old school NES classics, Master System classics. Um, the basic gameplay is the same as well. Um, and yeah, it's uh, overall, I think it's a very solid little little nostalgic retro style video game. I know you see a lot of these in the eShop and stuff. Um, this one actually really impressed me, uh, especially because it's kind of... Uh, it kind of came out of nowhere in my opinion. I didn't hear much about it. Um, and I, I, I'm really glad that I got a chance to check my, my, my time, or my teeth. I'm, I'm flabbergasted here with what I'm trying to say, but really glad I got to sink my teeth into it. So, uh, yeah, as you can see, pretty classic basic game, but that's not a bad thing. Sometimes keeping it simple is the way to go when it comes to, to games. And there's a few... Mega Man clones on the e on the eShop as well. This is one of the better ones. The item I have right here freezes enemies. Let's see, so it really uses it to your advantage. You you don't have to deal with those jerk offs jumping in and out of the water. Um, for the most part, the game is um, easy initially, but the, late, the later stages actually really build up the difficulty with the jumps, the obstacles that you encounter, things like that. But, you know, the first level, which I'm playing, just to give you guys a general idea, is, is not too bad. You know, and it is basic localities, you know, like the forest, the jungle, volcano, um, things like that. So we're coming up to the boss fight, the initial boss fight, which this is like a... Oh, I already beat him. So I guess you're not going to see the boss fight. Um, let's go ahead. I'll show you guys, you know, some of the other levels. Let's, 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 uh, let's check out the city. The city was kind of neat. So as you can see, kind of reminds me of uh, Darkwing Duck a little bit. Also, you know, like the skyline, things like that. And I actually sat down and, and sank my teeth into it. It's, it's a pretty short game. The point that I got to with almost being on the second to last stage actually took me about a half hour. So it's, it's a pretty short game, but for its price, you can't go wrong. You know, sometimes short games is all some people have time for. And if it's a quality game, then there should be no, no major problem with um, having some that you can really enjoy and sit down and play in one sitting. Sometimes some of those jumps do scare me. I'm like, make it! <laughs> you know, the kind where you kind of move and kind of squeeze your bubble a little bit. You're like, oh, I hope I make that jump. Yeah, it, this game's full of those. I hate those little UFOs, by the way. There we go. Oh my gosh, really? I guess I was supposed to shoot guy and got through the platform, but you guys get the general idea. Let's go ahead and move to our closing thoughts. I, I could play this game forever. So guys, $4.99 is not a bad price at all to take a chance on Venture Kid. As a matter of fact, I think it is a recommendation. It's a budget Switch game. <laughs> you know, it's a lower tiered mobile port, but it's not one that you regret buying. $4.99 is not going to break the bank. 
for something that harkens back to something we all grew up with. You know, we have the Mega Man games on our NES systems, and this game is solid. You know, there's some bad ports out there, and I gotta say, Venture Kit is one that you should take a look at. I think it might be a little gem in the Switch eShop. It plays just like a Mega Man game. If you just switched out the sprite and put Mega Man right there, you wouldn't even know the difference. I enjoyed it for what it was. It's a short but sweet Switch game that's a lot of fun to play. And again, on the 8-bit air game grading scale, I would give Venture Kid a 7.5. It does mm, just right on the satisfaction meter. <laughs> so guys, thanks a lot for watching again. If you're brand new to the channel, feel free to throw a subscription and I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out. Consider supporting 8-Bit Eric on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Link below in the description.